So I did a video showing how to get an LTE network up and running in just a few minutes with SRS LTE. I want to show the same thing, but this time a GSM network with Osmo, uh, BTS, BSC, and some other tools. And this is going to be all included in the next Dragon OS release, hopefully this Thursday. Um, uh, right off the bat, though, a couple things uh, I'm going to do, uh, or that I did, that I'll probably go ahead and take care of in the ISO is edit the Etsy security limits.com file you can see here. And I'll come down and there's a reason I did this. It was just for, I think, some better performance. Uh, I was getting an error on the, uh, the Edis B205 when I was bringing it up and it's addressed uh, just tells you that you add this line here at USRP. You can see just like I've got there, save that file. And then what you would do is uh, Add, add your user to the USRP group, which I've already uh, have done. You would log in, or I'm sorry, uh, log out and log back in, and then you would see that you are a member. Probably going to go ahead and take care of that already. So um, we'll go ahead and uh, bring this window down here uh, for just a second. Uh, probably won't even need it. What you're going to need to do as well is you'll use system control and you're going to start the STP, the HLR, the MSC, and the MGW service. So I uh, have done that here. And then uh, you can telnet in on 4258 to the HLR. And you're going to need, so I have a uh, Android phone here. It already had a SIM card in it. I used an app I downloaded to get the MZ. And then you can see here, uh, let's see, you can see here uh, I used a, a question mark and then a, a type out list to print the command list. You'll see that you want to do the subscriber, the MZ, uh, which is the uh, identification, uh, yeah, subscriber, MZ, the actual MZ, create. And then I follow that up with a subscriber, MZ, uh, update, MSI, SDN and then put in uh, a number, an actual, uh, you know, the area code number that I wanted to give it. Okay, now you'll need three windows open. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use Osmo, um, let's see, TRX UHD. And the reason why I'm in this Etsy Osmocom is because I'm just using the default configuration files. So for this, you'll use a dash capital C and we will use the uh, corresponding um, configuration file. And this is a B205 Mini-I plugged in with uh, uh, GSM antennas on it. So that brings the radio up. We'll go ahead and start our BSC. Uh, same thing in the Etsy Osmocom, I'll just use a lowercase uh, tack or a dash C on the corresponding configuration file. And then the same thing down here. Now at this point, when I bring this online, it is going to be transmitting. So make sure you take the appropriate precautions uh, there. And now, so now the uh, base station is on broadcasting. I'll come over to the Android phone, go to mobile networks. Matter of fact, it's already um, connecting. Uh, you could go uh, network operators you would search, but I've already uh, tested this and it connected. So it's connected now. It's got uh, R for roaming. I don't know if that's because I enabled uh, roaming, but uh, just to be, you know, just to be absolutely sure, I click, click on it, register on network. It's registered. Come to settings. Uh, let's see more about device status and I am in fact connected to the network that I created. So uh, maybe in another video, I'll go more in depth. I encourage, uh, you know, read up on Osmo, BSE, BTS to understand all the different components, how they kind of broke the network in the, bar, uh, in the box apart and have all the components uh, of a GSM network separate, learning a little bit about each. And uh, that way, you know, it actually helps me by doing, uh, doing this to learn uh, how this um, technology you know works but now that I have this running and the capability to close this off and make a network I could probably do some other things if I get another phone like uh, 
the MZ uh, and the, uh, uh, you know, like taking a look at SMS and things like that. So, all right, there you go.